Hey, gang, welcome back to another episode of Mondays with Mindy. Hi, Christian. Hi, Mindy. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. (laughs) Uh, Today, we are going to be having a conversation with one of the most respected and sought after casting directors, Allison Estrin. Raised in Los Angeles, Allison went to the prestigious private high school Crossroads in Santa Monica and then Webster University Acting Conservatory in St. Louis for college, which she didn't finish because... Well, before completing her degree, Allison moved to New York City and landed her first casting job with Binder Casting, doing Broadway shows. Wow. Right up to the big leagues. (laughs) Starting out as a reader and a monitor, Allison soon became Jay Jay Binder's full-time assistant. She then moved on to work with the legendary Harry Russell Bergstein, and together they have casted amazing films and television, mostly based out of New York City. The most notable films include Z for Zachariah, starring Margot Robbie, yeah. Still Alice, starring Julianne Moore, and television shows Inside Amy Schumer, Rami, and Showtime's Billions, one of my favorite shows of all wow. times, and the miniseries The Loudest Voice, starring Russell Crowe. Allison has been nominated for numerous awards and continues to work on some of the most eagerly anticipated projects. She is a dear friend. I adore her. And I can't wait for everyone to listen into our conversation today. Well, let's get it started. Ladies and gentlemen, Allison Estrin. <laughs> Hi, Allison. Hi, Hi, how are you? Welcome. Good. How are you? Thank you. Happy to be here. I'm so happy to have you. Um, I Yes, I'm, I'm very <laughs> excited for the Mondays with Mindy audience to like get a real feeling for you. One of Aww. my dearest uh, people that I adore. Well, so we're just, just going to de- spend some time with Mindy. So it's fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. It's been too long. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Um, just going to go into our little oh. secrets canister. And oh. uh, Christian and I created kind of these 20 questions. I randomly pull out five <laughs> and that's how we do a deep dive into our conversation. So okay, no wrong answers. Mm-hmm. Have fun Everybody with it. gets to play nice. <laughs> great. Great. Okay. So Allison, Oh, what's the best advice you've been given and who gave it? Oh, um, you know, I've actually been given a lot of really, really good advice, but the first thing that popped into my head was advice that my father always said, um, which was never take no for an answer unless no is the answer you want. Oh, Ooh. I've never heard the latter part of that. I really like that. Yeah. Ever, ever. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I would say that I, he was a very, very amazing advice giver, but that that's one that was kind of one of his mantras. Oh, that's a goodie. I really like um, that. <laughs> oh, can we remember when this question had a little more relevance? <laughs> What's your favorite place to travel to and oh. why? Right? Oh, yeah. I know. Well, it does Let's have relevance because I, yeah, I find myself dreaming all the time. Yeah. Um, well, I do love going to New Orleans. That, that, it just always brings me joy. I have never not had a, the time of my life there. <laughs> There's something just about the air, the people, the food, everything that I, the, the culture of it, the history, everything about New Orleans, I am always happy there. When was the first time you went down there? Can you remember? Yeah, I went down there when I was 16. Um, actually, I got, my dad took me. He was working. And um, because he was working, I just kind of got to explore for like a week mm-hmm. wow. and just like go on like do whatever I wanted throughout the whole day. And then like, we'd meet up and have amazing dinners and, you know, it was, it was amazing. And so I think it was also just like a special place to me at that point of like being able to be that age and Mm -hmm. explore a city like that was kind of defining in a certain way that I could like feel like a grown up. Yeah, it's so. definitely one of those cities that feels like you're in another country. Absolutely. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, Allison, do you have a hidden talent? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it always elicits a reaction like, Ooh, do I? <laughs> I know. Do I? <laughs> oh, 
I mean, like, I really wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think I do. It's I, still hidden. I think it's still hidden. Has it been on me. Earth? Yeah. Yeah. I, either, I, I find people really have to think about it or they know instantly like well, oh yes i have this stupid human trick that i do yeah i don't have like stupid human tricks like i do like i am a really great cook i love to cook and bake but i don't think that's a secret at this point it's not right i mean because if you follow me on instagram you've seen every oh, yes. thing <laughs> oh yeah so like i think that my talents aren't actually hidden i think i put it all out there Okay. Which I love. Yes. Yeah. And, and ditto, by the way, <laughs> yeah. everything I've got, it's out there. Yeah, it's there. Good on you. Everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> um, what assumption do people uh, make about you that that is not true? Um, I would say. I think maybe upon meeting me not knowing what I do for a living or anything of that sort, I think that people don't usually think that I'm that strong or that um, uh, I don't, I don't know if they always like know that, uh, that I can be the boss. <laughs> Assertive. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, and decisive and all yeah. the skill set that it takes to not yeah. only do what you do, but do it at your level. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. it takes a, a little while. People are often surprised uh, when they find out what I do. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Well, you don't lead with that, which is so yeah. lovely. Yeah. Thank um, you. <laughs> like so many people on this coast. Right. <laughs> right. <clears throat> you know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, one of the things, Christian, that Allison and I share when we have conversations is it's so wonderful to be able to be proud and talk about what we're working on yeah. without it eliciting uh, any weirdness. Right. That right. it's the friend yeah. zone yeah. Yeah. and not the yeah. business zone. Right. And yeah. it's one of the things that I'm most proud of, but you also um, have that. You have a lot of uh, friends that are actors Mm -hmm. uh, and working actors, you yep. know, that you are truly very dear friends with. Yes. Outside of whether you can work together at some point or not. Yeah. And absolutely. absolutely. again, and we can just be quite supportive unusual. of each other and really excited when someone is working and can yes. talk someone through if you're not working and right. it can, you know, so yeah, it's, I, I love that because it's just more than anything, it's just being friends with creative people and yep. understanding exactly. that sort of thing. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Um, what scares you? Mm. <laughs> this could be big, broad. Uh, or... Yeah, I know. Like for, I was like, well, snakes aren't great. <laughs> yeah. um, Same. <laughs> like ticks. I don't want any of that yeah. sort of thing. Um, COVID is not great. Yes. Um, there are a lot of things that scare me. How was it down? <laughs> you, you spent some time this summer down South, correct? Yeah. Yeah. How was, was that with Georgia. the bug situation? I was a little nervous about it. I was nervous for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why ticks came into my head. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, those like all the really big, extra big bugs are there. Yeah, where she fully, was, they were there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like I've gotten used to like mice and stuff because I live wow. in New York. I mean, I don't like it. I'll still like right. scream, but like I get used to it. It's New York. Okay. I ex I expect these type of crazy things, but like the huge like dinosaur bugs. Mm. Right, I know exactly fly. what you're talking about. You're like, what <laughs> yeah. was that prehistoric that? Yeah. creature? Yeah, yeah. like how does that still exist in this mm -hmm. world? I yeah. don't. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, they will be the last fossils. survivors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and why is it chasing me around <laughs> yes, exactly. the park? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. My cat just somehow ignores it. He's like, no, oh, you, you can deal with that one. Oh, wow. Yeah. <gasps> <nice. laughs> I would think that would be bait. <laughs> yeah. So that wasn't too painful, right? Oh, no, that was fun. Oh, yeah, was exactly. Okay. <laughs> so um, let's get back to really why we, why we get together and, and gab. And that is <laughs> just to talk about 
creative and people's creative process, whatever that means to them. And I, I feel you are our first guest that is in such a unique position because a lot of people um, that listen um, don't really realize how creative um, your position and what you do is. And that yes, it's a business and you are asked to deliver goods people um (laughs) but but that there is such a level of creativity that is not it used to be honored and respected much more than it is now but i think the quality of your projects and what you choose to work on still elicits that and so like talk to me about your creative process and what do you do when you get a new job and, and and you do a deep dive into it like what do you go through how do you ramp up um or do you well it's funny. I think what I like so much about my job is that it really does get to be different for every project I do, <laughs> because it will always depend on the director or showrunners that I'm working with um, and kind of what their process is too. So sometimes there are people I work with that like know every single thing, how every single character should be. And then there are, are some that I'm like, I, let's talk about this. I, I don't know. Let's, what, what, what do you, what do you think? And, you know, so more often than not, the creative process ends up being like a lot of sp- spitballing mm-hmm. of just different, different ideas that can range from like, oh, this would have been like, you know, Matt Damon when he was 20 sort of thing or like actually this would be Matt Damon now mm-hmm. it can I don't know why Matt Damon just came into my head but he did well I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure he'd love that yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> so I think like and that's always what's kind of fun is figuring that out um and you know I love to work obviously with um directors and showrunners that I've worked with before so that we already have that sort of shorthand but it's also really exciting when there's someone new and figuring that out for the first time of like oh you like you like this sort of thing and I I like that sort of thing so sometimes we'll just like talk about the kind of movies that we're really into Mm -hmm. um or like the type of tv shows that we're all watching or how I kind of can see that in a certain way um and, and sometimes it's also fun to just say like, you know what? Okay, I have some ideas. I'm going right. to show you a couple of people. Mm-hmm. We'll go for right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, if, I'm, it, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But, well, but it's one know. of the things I, I would assume your people who you work with love about you. And as a watcher of a lot of what you do, I appreciate that you seem to find actors and yet these actors aren't lost. I mean, they just haven't been seen. And I, I so appreciate that because obviously um, being in the tribe of actors, I know who they are, but you don't get to see them at the at working at the level and quality of the shows that that you do and oh. so you know in you know layman's kind of go oh we've never seen this person we're discovering them well really it's you <laughs> it's you creating this opportunity for them right. uh who you've either seen on stage or that you've just you know put in your back you pocket know, like oh i'm waiting yeah 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 it, so that's yeah. that too is it used to be a lot of like showcases from what I remember when I was in New York that like you would try to do a showcase and try to request casting directors and to go see those kinds of things so that, you know, we were kind of planting that seed in your mind. Do you still find, I mean, even though we're still in kind of COVID time, do you still find like that's a recruiting method for you to discover? It, it is a little bit. I find that to be a pretty hard way, honestly, to like mm-hmm. truly see what someone's about. I, yeah. I'm much better and maybe it's also just like as an audience member that like Mm -hmm. I'd rather go see a full play theater yeah um and I feel like I can get a better idea of even if someone's only in one scene of that play I can still have a a good idea of what you know what they can what they're bringing to it um especially if there's someone that I really remember from it Hmm. um it's one of the so, things I yeah. find that's so hard about living in Los Angeles is yes. I just feel it's and it's such an oxymoron to me because I just feel if there was more theater, so many more 
wonderful actors would be quote unquote discovered, discovered and not yeah. discovered, but just seen and yeah. seen what they're doing and what they yeah. do well. Yeah. Um, because it really just, it's such a intrinsic New York experience to go yeah, see someone on stage and fall madly in love with different, them. It's just yeah. a different culture about, yeah. you know, even I think it's, you know, at the end of a work day in New York, it makes perfect sense to then meet someone for a drink and go to the theater. Like right. it's all, it's all right there. It's very easy in LA. It actually is just harder. Yeah. Yeah. It's physically, you know, and now, yeah, yeah, physically, it's just like an hour in traffic one way. And mm-hmm. you want me to go where for, for that park? Show? yeah, like <laughs> yeah. I gotta like, okay. Yeah. I have to park. And then, and then at what time am I going to get out of there? And then, then it's another hour and like, it's a whole, it can be yeah. such a whole thing that that takes away from any part of the enjoyment of like the two hours of sitting and watching the show. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. The same. And you what, know, part of the you... fun also is seeing like af- after you go see a show, you, or I like can talk to the actors afterwards. Yes. I'll go out for a drink and go for dinner. And there might be someone like from the cast. There's almost always someone from the cast I know. And then they bring someone else. And then it's like, oh, great. I didn't really know this person, but now sure. I've gotten to know them on a completely different level. And so it's always just like more about knowing the community. Yeah. Interesting. 100%. What, what have you binged during this time? <sighs> What have a you lot. guys been obsessed with? <laughs> a lot. Well, I know everyone's been so much, but what have what really you you know took um, your breath away? Okay, well, because I have the, a cross between binging things that like I should have watched years ago and didn't. Good on so you, though. I just finished the leftovers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. So good. <laughs> I watched it in like a week. I mean, that was, it was wow. a lot. Like I was having yeah. dreams about cults. It was a lot, but like, oh my God, that yeah. show was so phenomenal. Um, and uh, Search Party, I got through pretty fast. I haven't started the new season yet, so don't tell me. Anything. I have. I'm obsessed. So excited. May I just say, I am been so. trying to get me on board too, yeah. Oh, I'm it's so obsessed. so good. It's, it's so, so good. good. Yeah, yeah. I, have to, I have to check it out. I haven't checked yeah, it out do. at all. It's just it's, one of those yeah. that's like, incredible. I need to make time for it. And Mindy keeps asking me that and Ted Lasso. She keeps saying like, Ted Lasso, oh, I, that's, have, I haven't started to Ted watch Lasso these. yet. I, okay. I sort of seriously would give a give a inconsequential body part. To be on, <laughs> on, on, I was like, what do we go on with pond, here? Okay. <laughs> to go across the pond and, and, and be on that show. It's it's sublime. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. I'll start that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, because now since I finished the leftovers, I'm like, okay, oh no, there's something cu- else now. Yeah. <laughs> Search party season four, get into it. Yes, yes. Um, and Ted Lasso is a must. Good, good. Yeah. And then I also like I the reality shows also do it for me. You know, I, right? I, I have escapism. watched every season of Love Island at this point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that is that okay? So having not watched it, is that a dating one? Is it, is it a dating? Yeah, I don't even know if I would call those dates. Oh, but it's like in, yeah. insta, insta, insta love thing. I, I think we watched yeah. a couple episodes too, and I was sort of like, what, this is intense. Oh, it's I mean, very easy to get hooked though. Yeah, totally. Especially yeah. especially the UK one where yeah. like you don't quite know what they're saying all the that's time. What, that's the one we watched yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, and they have different- but is it really salacious or it just- Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. It's like chocolate <laughs> cake. Like, you're, you're, like you can't eat too much of it, you'll get sick, but like you enjoy each bite. But it's like, so, yeah, good. it's just so great. And like you couldn't have that type of- drama in an actual show it would just be too much but like they have it and sometimes like it's actually some like great character studies with some of these people I'm like I like I couldn't cast any of this better than what some of these people are doing there is a special skill I know two reality casting directors and it is a skill skill. absolutely to to cast those kind of people yeah people have asked me about that before I'm like oh I don't know how to do that no no yeah, that's a very um, different thing. Who, who, if anyone, are you currently uh, obsessed with? Like, who do you want to put in something that you've seen the last few months that you're like, okay, I need, I need to work with this per- this person, this actor. Uh, well, I mean, Carrie Coon. Oh, I mean, I, mean, I was she's... already obsessed with her. Same. 
and now yeah we, like we just went to a whole other place yeah like now we're just well over well over the moon yeah <laughs> I would say <laughs> yeah I have to say you know who she's with is also very impressive and yes. um my friend Todd Almond you know mm -hmm. who you know well, uh we were going to see a play and we ran into them and I basically gave Tracy no mind because I was just <laughs> guffaw. I mean, I literally I think I had saliva coming out of my mouth. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And she was pregnant. So I like didn't uh, want to put too much energy on her. But I literally said, like, I think I want to squeeze you and clench my teeth so I don't hurt you. And yeah, and thank God she got it. Uh, <laughs> but when I walked away, I looked at Todd. I'm like, that was a little aggressive. He goes, oh, no, a lot. That was really <laughs> a lot. And I'm not really a fangirl. Like I keep my. I keep my cool yeah, around a, and I cool. know a lot yeah. of people, yeah. right? But I oh, mean, I you lost. You do. You amaze me with the people you know. I lost my proverbial sh on, on her because yeah. she's I love that truly. Happens. She's remarkable. You know, remarkable. Yeah. I can honestly say, like, remarkable. Yeah. yeah. And everything she, she's done. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yes. Not that you needed a cosign of your uh, choice, but I cosign it. Good. I appreciate um, it. <laughs> so there. Yeah. Whatever. Um, okay. Good obsession. Um, and I know that you are making your way to Los Angeles uh, for a while back mm -hmm. home. Do you consider Los Angeles back home or you've been such a diehard New Yorker for so long? Um, How do you view Los Angeles? It's funny. I do still call it home, <laughs> yeah, even though I don't. Here. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't even have a family home anymore. Right. Um, but I mean, I've now been in New York. I think as long as I lived in LA. Um, but yeah, I do. I do still, I call it, it's my hometown. I, mm -hmm. I call it home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you, are you going to work a little when you come out here? Oh or yeah. Is it oh, I'm, I'm working, you know, nonstop. wherever you are. Yeah. It's, it's just that I, I mean, the one thing about COVID is, is, awful as it is to be working from home it has afforded me the ability to go anywhere right now which um is helpful yeah amazing because yeah. no uh, I, I could not just sit in um this is a very little apartment <laughs> <laughs> yes well i have to say uh as an actor going through the first this year you know panic because you know that i'm technically amish so to, to get comfortable with that, I have to say it has been the, now I'm really good in a room. So I miss getting in a room. Yeah, I do think I'm much better in a room. Uh, having said that, it's been so lovely not to drive to the audition, get into a lot, drive all the way home. No traffic. It's been phenomenal. See, again, that's the New York and L.A. difference is in New York. I think that the coming into oh. the auditions you know people in the waiting room it also takes 10 minutes for, yeah 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 to get, well, to, get it, to you it depends on which you know sometimes we all have True. offices in weird places but you know right. you usually know someone you talk for a little while you're not dealing with parking it's mm -hmm. you know it's it, it's a different experience I think I mean when from the auditions that I've done out of LA when I've had to like give people what the whole like map is in the studio. I'm like, Oh my God, this would drive me insane if I had to do this all the time. Well, also as an actor, you know, it's like, what are you doing today? I have an audition versus in New York. Day. It's yeah. like one, one yeah. little section of a day. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, I'm so glad, but you will yeah. have time to socializing yes yes yes, yes. Good, social good. socially distanced the whole it's be very thing and we you know we'll take our tests and it won't be part of the problem in LA I know that good. yes it's, uh, um it's scary so t yeah but <laughs> we're turning a corner um the blinkers on I like to say <laughs> we're not actually turning yet but the I turned my blinker on okay good. a couple okay. days ago the blinker like finally went on okay good. um <laughs> uh a little about your trajectory in your career, because um, it's 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 so impressive, Allison. I mean, it's one of the things that I love about you is unabashedly your ambition in the best way possible, and you've earned this reputation. Um, and so now you're at a level that so many people want to get to. That I don't know if 
they will anymore. I mean, it's sort of like your business has changed so much. Um, and I think it's really, it's much harder to get into casting. Um, and it doesn't, it's not as desirable, I think, because of how hard people have to work for no glory, um, mm -hmm. which is not your case. But what was your turning point when you put on the coat and it was extremely comfortable and you got what you needed from it? And I know you have aspirations and you should be directing. <laughs> um, so I, I'm just talking about this, you know, this specific part of your career. Um. I would say, actually, I, li I liked that. I like the term of putting on the coat. Like when I knew that this was my well, and that you thing. got what you you got some respect. You were getting. You were. You know. You paid a bill, and oh, you know right. you, you started to get the projects you wanted to get. Yeah. Um. That was uh, almost immediately when I went out on my own. Actually, I uh, yeah. I felt pretty blessed that that way um mm -hmm. that uh there were there were a few directors right off the bat that um that were excited to either start working with me or continue working with me um and um so it it was about like six months or so of um of kind of like smaller indie films and then um billions came my way um and uh that i just felt blessed i mean i had i had heard about billions mm -hmm. i i knew i knew about the project as soon as i heard about it i was like god that's something yeah. that just seems so perfect for me. There was just mm -hmm. something about like the two worlds of it that I was like, I know that I would really, really like this. And I reached out to Amy Britt at Showtime and she was like, mm, Ava Kaufman's doing it. Not going to happen. I was like, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. And, um, <laughs> and Amy did, she did the pilot. And, um, and then I just got a random call one day from one of the producers asking if I wanted to meet on it. And um, I found out when I uh, met with Brian Koppelman and David Levine that um, Tom McCarthy had recommended me to them, oh. um, which meant the world to me. Um, and then they had called Amy Schumer and asked <laughs> As yeah. To, uh, Are you happy? Her, her opinion. <laughs> and um, I had worked on the first season of uh, Inside Amy Schumer and um, had known Amy for a long time. And I was, you know, it was very nice of her to also give me a good review. Mm -hmm. And um, and I remember when when Brian and David called me and I know that they interviewed a lot of people and they called me and said, um, OK, so you're our casting director now. Amazing. Just uh, like that. Huh. The, yeah. Like we're, we're going to go with you. And I was like, okay, okay, here we go. Like yeah. this is, this wow. is, this is what's happening now. Um, so I feel like that ended up being a, a pretty big turning point. Have uh, more doors opened for you since that? Yeah. 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 For sure. For sure. Okay. Cause I just hadn't done, I mean, I really hadn't done that much TV right Before mostly films point. yeah yeah um and then the tv i had done was like inside amy schumer which was so drastically different yeah um and and i certainly hadn't done anything done a tv show like a, that huge and on my own mm -hmm. um so yeah that was i it was definitely i would i would say yes I definitely started to get more calls after billions premiered yes hmm. so yeah you you and I have talked about uh well we've talked to each other about our aspirations for sure um and so I know I'm not talking you know gossiping too hard when I say <laughs> that you know we've talked about you directing um um and I not only support you that but I I, I mean it seems like a natural next move yeah and i'm wondering where you are with that 
Um, well, I mean, I think it's with COVID, it's harder and harder to, you know, think about those types of aspirations, to be mm -hmm. honest. Um, but it's been a little bit easier to think about producing at this particular moment, mm -hmm. um, which, which you've also, done before. I yeah, mean, and yeah. I and I find, but but I think that there's a way to be a little bit more hands on than I have been before. Mm -hmm. um, certainly in in casting with films, it's you know for independent film, it, it's a very easy connection because we're the first call usually. So right. if we're helping put something together, it it makes sense then as uh, to come on as producers. Um, but it's also been exciting to start to think about like, well, what, what kind of projects do I really like? Mm -hmm. You know, what am I, what am I reading that I can't stop thinking about? Or, mm -hmm. you know, what am I watching that I want to keep watching. What's the sort of stuff that I really, really like. And um, that's been, um, that's actually kind of been what's like getting me going a little bit more. Are you drawn more lately. to film or to television since you've kind of dipped your toes in successfully both areas? Um, Cause film. they're very, they're so different, you know? Yeah. Film, film. though. Yeah. I think uh, I, I, I love what I'm, what I'm doing on, on TV, but it's much harder to do, um, you know, many, many seasons of something. Yeah. Um, yeah. and, and I love the idea of being able to tell, to tell a story beginning, middle and end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I get that. Well, and it, I mean, there's so many platforms now and ways to, oh my it's God. very exciting. Yeah. It's exciting time, even during the time of COVID, right? What's yeah been so interesting is um how many things have are still getting bought and and sold here yes. um yeah they're meaning everywhere but you know the studios i mean they're clamoring right because that whole idea of everybody has seen everything yeah during no, COVID. we, need, and we so definitely need to you need know, content consume yeah. more <laughs> yeah yeah um well that's exciting okay i already have like a couple of very interesting things to talk to you privately about <laughs> Yeah. So that's, that's good. That's very good. Um, I'm so excited for you to come to Los Angeles that I might able be able to, you know, negative COVID test my way into your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I adore you. I'm so glad Christian and everyone who knows me um, and all the listeners get to finally hear you because I've talked about you to many Aww. people. I talk about um, you all the time too. <laughs> thank you. Uh, and thank you so much for coming on an episode of Monday. Thanks. Yes, this was so fun. Yeah, thank you awesome. um, once again. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause for our very special guest, Allison Estrin. Yay. Yay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. This episode of Mondays with Mindy is brought to you by the Woodstock Way Hotel. Attracting musicians, artists, dreamers, seekers, and bootleggers since 1787, tucked behind a waterfall along a babbling brook, this Catskills Contemporary Hotel sits just steps away from Woodstock's iconic town center. Its sustainable and conscious design, paired with a nod to local flavors and peerless hospitality, will lead you to embrace a way of life here, drawing you in to live, love, and listen. Woodstock Way Hotel. Head to woodstockway.com or mondayswithmindy.com for more information and to book your reservation today.